Bella Thorne has all the fills for Demi Lovato. Kylie posts her first pic with Tyga's son ever. And Justin Bieber is being sued over spitting in someone's face. All that and more on today's Rundown. What's up, you guys? You are back at the Dur. Drew Dorsey with Ryland Adams, and I have the best news ever. Mm -hmm. Debatable, that's on Clever TV. Yeah. It's moving to Clever News this Sunday, and it's gonna live there every single Sunday. So be sure you check that out. So excited, but you guys, first, on a not so happy note, we have to talk about Drake and Rihanna calling it quits because love is dead. What? I thought it was cuffing season. Okay, so you guys, I am really upset because Drake and Rihanna, that couple it was like, it needed to stay together for me to still have hope and love. You know, I thought that they were just confessing their love for each other like not even a month ago at an award show stage. I swear, I said it before, I'll say it again, Q, but you had one job, okay? So, and like you said, we're not even sure if they were officially together, but they did profess love. Yeah. You know, they've had something going on for a while, but earlier this week we learned that whatever they had going on had come to an end. So, Rihanna posted something on her Instagram that was seemingly about Drake. She said, quote, none of my exes are married or in happy relationships, so it's safe to say that I wasn't the problem, LOL. So of course people drew conclusions and they're like, she's obviously talking about Drake. So then Drake posted something on his Instagram as well. He said, quote, to mix up in drama to free my mind, but I'm praying for you even in your darkest times. So everyone's like, okay, then that's about Rihanna and she's talking about him, but there's more. So apparently he's in this weird love triangle Ugh. with uh, two sisters. So this chick named India Love is uh, the person he supposedly cheated on Rihanna with. Right. And he also dated India's sister, Crystal. What? Yeah. At so, the same time? Not the same time. Okay. So apparently he previously dated Crystal and now he's dating India. People have seen them out with each other. She's been on his shows, like at after parties. It's a big mess. So after the rumor spread that he's now dating India, Crystal tweeted, quote, that awkward moment when she hops on your exes, never mind, never mind, hashtag I feel like Ray J. So of course she's like referring to the fact that like Ray J came out with like that whole single after Kim and Kanye were a right. thing. So this is super awkward. And But then India responded, not directly to her sister's tweet, but she just tweeted out. She said, I think it's mad crazy how you could really be dating someone for a period of time and be completely blind to who they really are. So we don't know if that's directed at Drake or who she's talking about, but the whole thing is just myth. Well, if that's a family issue, I think they need to sort it out because if they're dating the same guy just because they want to, even after their sister had dated Drake, yeah. I'm just like, you need to figure out your issues. But as far as Rihanna goes, I'm devastated for her. I was like, she finally found a good man. Plus, I was holding out hope for Drake. Like, I thought the guy in a wheelchair from Degrassi was like a good man. Degrassi, I know. <laughs> And now he's just another player rapper? What? But, okay, but a lot, a lot of people think that it's just they have an open relationship, that they still have love for each other. Rihanna's like hanging out with her dad in Barbados. She seems happy. It's fine. Hanging out with your family? You run back to your family when you're devastated. You know, you don't know. leave where you are at to go have a retreat with your family unless you're sad or it's Christmas. You right. All right, Drew, Ashley Green is pissed Why? at Joe Jonas. Why? All right, so yesterday, if you didn't see it, Joe Jonas did a Reddit to ask me anything. It's basically like a live, lively, like a live broadcast where his fans can ask him whatever they want. And then Joe, he kind of revealed that, he didn't kind of, he did reveal that he lost his virginity to Ashley Green Ooh. and he also gave details. He admitted that he lost his virginity to Ashley and then told a story about how he ransacked his bandmate's room trying to find a condom. So Ashley the next day took to Instagram and she posted a photo of text that just read, class is timeless. Okay. Well, what does that mean? I just think she's like, <laughs> why are you spreading our personal information? She's happy. She's healthy. She's doing her own thing. She's in a relationship. She's like, why would you drag me? You Wait, know? what I like, the part I like most about this story is picturing Joe Jonas like <laughs> rummaging through his roommate's stuff trying to find a condom. I think that's something everyone can relate to because oh. the first time you're sleeping with somebody, maybe you don't have a condom and whoever's closest yeah. to you, you're like, help, I need material. <laughs> You're like, help me. Uh, Drew might have done that to me before. I totally did that to you. And then we went into our other room. It's like his nightstand. I put it back, James. I put it back. <laughs> Relatable. 
All right, Drew, speaking of being classy, yeah. this month we are bringing awareness to anti-bullying. Ad Council just created this new eye emoji that is available on all emoji keyboards. So if you witness bullying and you wanna take a stand against it, leave a comment with the eye emoji that says, I am a witness. You can go to eyewitnessbullying.org for more information. So Bella Thorne just did an interview with Maxim and she's talking all about how she has a crush on Demi Lovato and Miley Cyrus. What? So Bella Thorne got candid in a new Maxim interview to promote her new dark comedy, Shovel Buddies. And the best part of the interview is Bella admitting who her celeb crushes are. She told the magazine, quote, Demi Lovato, I must say, rawr. She's a pretty toasty woman. Miley Cyrus too, she's dope, but Demi is Fire, just fire. Bella also talked about her decision to come out as bisexual, saying, quote, I didn't even think about it. A fan on Twitter asked me, and I'm super open about it. And on the backlash on her being open about her sexuality, she said, quote, I have already had people talk sh to me, and it comes from people in the industry, not even fans. I've had studios tell me my image is too out there, hinting at it, but not really saying it. I don't know why she's praising all of these girls. I mean, yeah, everyone knows that all of those girls are superstars hot. and hot. Yeah. Uh, on her coming out as bisexual, I don't think that it wasn't calculated because I think everything celebrities do are calculated. calculated yeah. um, but as long as she's living her best life, I'm happy for her. Good for you, girl. All right, Drew, big news in the Jenner, China, Kardashian household. What's going on? Kylie Jenner posted her first pic ever with King, Tyga and China's son oh, okay. on Snapchat, so they're getting okay. festive. In the pic, they are selfie-ing it up, and Kylie is wearing a shirt that says, in graffiti, Kylie Tyga. Oh, so God, uh, <laughs> while she's with China's baby, she's rocking their relationship. Uh, it's also uh, good timing because he turns four on Sunday. Um, but I'm happy to see that they're all getting along, especially with Rob yeah. and China having another baby on right. the way. I think that the family needs to be as close as ever. I agree, but would you ever wear a shirt that had the name, like you and your like partner's name on it? No! Like, that's crazy, come on. Uh -uh. It's kind of gross, but good for you. <laughs> uh, in other Jenner news, Kendall Jenner took to her app where she did a post where she picked which Disney princesses each of her sisters are. So talking about Courtney, she called her Jasmine from Aladdin, saying she's adventurous, intuitive, rebellious, intelligent, stubborn, caring, and brave. On Kylie, uh, she crowned her as Rapunzel from Tangled, which I think is pretty much correct, yeah. saying she's feisty, energetic, defiant, courageous, confident, and kind. Uh, on her big sis, Chloe, she said Belle from Beauty and the Beast because she's bold, beautiful, imaginative, brave, protective, kind, accepting, stubborn, curious, outspoken, and independent. On Kim, infamous Kim Kardashian, she said Ariel from The Little Mermaid because she's headstrong, confident, smart, brave, romantic, stubborn, and charming. Uh, I do too. It's like Ew. kind of women empowering, yeah. and all of those descriptors were accurate. Yeah. I if like you it. were a princess, who do you think you'd be? Oh my god. So I'm already a princess. <laughs> well, but <okay. laughs> Drew Boo Dorsey. I think I would totally be Princess Tiana. Well, for obvious reasons, but also because I, I love black? her because I'm black. But also because I love her. Uh, no matter what color you are, you can be whatever princess you want. Okay. I uh, if I were to be a princess, who would you crown me as? Oh my god. I think you'd be Jasmine, because she's sassy. Okay, all yeah. right, I can Jasmine. take that. Okay, so you guys, in Justin Bieber news today. Love me some Justin Bieber. Who, so he paused his Purpose Tour, like while he was on the Purpose Tour in London, he stopped at a school to play soccer with some kids, and it's super cute, you guys. <laughs> they posted a photo and they tweeted. So this happened here at school yesterday. Thanks Justin Bieber for stopping by for a senior football session at Highgate SPX. Super cute, but one girl was like, he wasn't that great because she told Heart FM Radio saying, quote, he wasn't terrible, I feel bad saying that, but to be honest, he's a pop star, so he doesn't have loads of time to play football. <laughs> I so, mean, <laughs> he's got abs though. He's got abs, right? Okay, in other Justin Bieber news, so TMZ is now reporting that the same neighbor who Justin, like remember when he egged the dude's house? Yeah, and he was suing him forever. Right, so now the neighbor is suing him again because allegedly the neighbor like called Justin out one time when he was speeding through the neighborhood and Justin spit in his face. So now the neighbor is trying to get the bodyguard to testify because apparently the bodyguard saw everything. And this is not good if it's true. Oh my gosh, Justin Bieber pays that bodyguard's whole salary. Why would he?
he then Not turn on see. Justin Bieber? No. He's A, not gonna say anything, and B, Justin lived in a very nice neighborhood. I'm very curious as to why this other neighbor is so money hungry. If he's living in that neighborhood, he has to have money. So yeah. why not do something else rather than, than just sue him and sue him and sue him? He also doesn't live in the neighborhood anymore, so get over it. But then that, the reason, because he doesn't, ha he doesn't need the money, it makes me think that maybe he really did do that. Because why else would you just sue someone for no reason? Yeah, but money's also not going to harm Justin Bieber. He, like, poops it out, basically. True. So yeah. I just, I, even if Lots he wins fiber. this and Justin has to pay, mm -hmm. it's not going to hurt Justin. It's not going to teach Justin a lesson. He's going to be like, that sucked. Yeah, neutral. Yeah. I think he already learned his lesson. That was in the past. Apparently he spit his face a while ago. Now he just needs to appreciate his fans and we're good. Right? Okay, you guys, so that's all for the dur today, but I have questions. I want to know what princess you guys would be if you were a Disney princess. Oh, that's a good one. I also want to know if you think it's possible that Drake and Rihanna had an open relationship. Bum, <sighs> bum, bum. So and I know Drew wants to tell you that she's going to Machine Gun Kelly tonight, so just let her live for two seconds. He's also dropping a song with Camila Cabello tomorrow, so we'll talk about tomorrow. it. Tomorrow. Uh, if you don't know who he is, maybe just keep it that check way. Check my Instagram. <laughs> so. Tonight's our wedding. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> no, it's not. We gotta go. We're here every single weekday. We love you lots. Bye. Bye, guys. And for more, I click to the left for Justin Bieber telling the audience to shut up at his concert. Oh, my gosh. Or click right for Kylie Jenner clapping back at a slut shamer.